in time do it. You ain't gonna see for sure. I was gonna say, so how do you stay like motivated to drop music? Like how do you stay motivated in the studio? You feel like you're never gonna run out of music or you just I don't know. Uh, you can run out of words. If you can't run out of words, you can't run out of music. What they go do with me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the smiles and the frowns. You can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. I'm not that talking the shit in love, but I can't see me stalking a bitch. Get too much pussy, ain't forcing a bitch. And we'll get to me poking a bitch. Sick bitch, I know she bad for my health. Her friends on my body, they see all the wealth. Bitch on my back. We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest. Two six. Big Mr. Drench. He made me sit on this side today, y'all. <laughs> so, um, so last time we sat down was probably like a year from now. The first interview because when you first came home before, like probably like a year ago. So how's life changed from then to now? Saying you could see how life changed. <laughs> see how I'm coming. How it's coming before. How I'm coming now. It's slow, big slow. Yeah. Um. So like, how you been adjusting to the new fame now? I know stuff is different I'm now. People know you, fans stopping. I'm I'm the same person. I ain't never gonna change. But. Yeah, if I change, the how they gonna love me? They love who I was, right? You're definitely the same. I see you with the same people. I see you mm -hmm. keep your same ties close. Mm -hmm. um, so what's something you had to get used to with all the new fame? Something I had to get used to? Mm -hmm. uh, probably like random people stopping and shit like that. That's something I had to get used to because I ain't used to that. When a random <laughs> person stop, I'm thinking he's an opera song. <laughs> So yeah. like so is is it more like guys stopping you or is it girls stopping you? Or is it just be a little bit of everybody kids? I'm saying the girls don't really the girls be shy, so they don't really stop me. They just I just hear them saying so like, <laughs> oh that's too sick. Ah. But the guys they gonna stay be stopping, they be like, Oh shit, ah, they be stopping me. But yeah. I mean, I'm just being honest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say, you think you too gangster for the girls? You think nah. they be shy? Nah, I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, okay, so you say in a lot of interviews, so you've been in and out of jail since young. Mm -hmm. So when you was on your prime, I feel like you had got locked up again. Mm -hmm. So, like, how what was that? Like, did you know you was going to come right back out because you was used to it? or? What, just now like, when I got locked up? Yeah. Oh, nah, that was crazy. It <laughs> felt like it felt like back in the days in all the day. over again, yeah. No, I wasn't treated like a, I was treated like a regular person in there, like, you know what I mean? And they wasn't acknowledging your artistry. And I ain't gonna lie, the island crazy right now, so we wasn't getting our bare minimums, none of that, so it was crazy just now. I was just on, I was back on bullshit, back on gangster time, you right? So, but you quickly changed up once you came home, mm -hmm. got back into the music, back in the studio. Right back. How often is you in the studio? See, we always in the studio, whenever, whenever I get bored, I'm in there. I was gonna say, like, you drop in every week, visuals, mm -hmm. every week. Mm -hmm. And how, you, how do you feel about that? Like, mm -hmm. you feel like that's your way of being consistent, or you drop music because you just enjoy music? Like, why you drop every week? I'm saying, it's just, yeah, I just enjoy doing that, I don't know. Like, even when they be telling me chill, <laughs> my team be telling me chill, but I just be like, fucking nah, we going crazy. I was going to say, do you think your fans are keeping up? With I'm saying, the yeah, I don't know what they be doing. They always asking, asking for more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, like, you, be, you throw up a little snippet here and there, so yeah, yeah but they don't even be knowing you just dropped a week ago. That's a fact. They don't even know the words. They just want more. Yeah, I like that in your music, you like, if you're a fan of me, you got to know my new shit. Mm -hmm. But you drop so much shit. So, like, how do you know when someone's truly a fan? See, just now, how she was just turning up on the stage. That's how I know. She know all the, all the lyrics and shit like that. She dancing. That's how I know. So, like, if they don't know your last week, but they know the week before, they valid? Yeah, they valid. I get them, <laughs> I get them a pass. I get them a pass on that. Yeah, they good. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, so I remember you made a post and it was like how you see people dropping every week now. Mm -hmm. You feel like you started that, the dropping every week type thing? 
saying i don't know i started a lot i don't know what i really started <laughs> bro, but for sure i i be saying the train bro, for sure they gonna i be saying them copy but they gonna see you heard it's time do it they gonna see for sure i was gonna say so how do you stay like motivated to drop music like how do you stay motivated in the studio you feel like you're never gonna run out of music or you just I don't know. Uh, you can run out of words. If you can't run out of words, you can't run out of music. That's how I feel. So you feel like you're gonna be on that mission every week. Mm -hmm. Are I'm you ever gonna that. slow up, or are you just trying to prove a point right now? Nah, I'm gonna slow up. I'm a, I'm a chill when I get where I wanna be. When I feel like I'm at where I wanna be, or but I'm gonna always drop music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, as you should always drop music. Yeah. So, like, when you did the um AZ freestyle for Shooters Only, you did your freestyle was called King of Drill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel like you're the King of Drill right now? Shit. Yeah, that's a fact. That's why I named it that, you know? Big facts. They just locked me up for a drill. I don't know nothing about you, know? That's why I came home. I'm saying no, they still locking me up for a drill. Fuck it, I might as well jack. I might as well jack it right on. They locking me up for it. I'm going down for. It. I'm paying and suffering for. When, it, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, I get that. But that's it what I'm could saying. be. It could be that because you be talking hot in your music though. Nah, that's not why they lock me up. <laughs> I know just, what they lock me up for. For a drill. Got it. Okay, I got it. That I got. I don't know nothing about. All yeah. right, so. The the king of drill. What do you feel like it takes? What are you, what are some qualities you feel like of a king? Like of a king? I feel like everybody's trying to jack. They the king of this. A king, king is a stand up dude that take care of everybody around him. Huh? A king make sure, you know I me, mean? everything situated. And as me, I got them qualities. Huh? I'm mm -hmm. stand up dude. A lot of these niggas ain't no stand up dudes. That's that's a good answer. That's so fine. drop wet dropping every week. I'm sure you got a good relationship with your producers. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite producer? A favorite producer at this point? <laughs> <laughs> no, you work with a lot of people. I don't know. Don't get nobody mad. Nah, yeah, I fuck with my peoples. I fuck <laughs> with A-Lab. You heard? Eli. What the fuck? Yeah. Emerald. Those my, that was my three favorite. You heard? Cyrus. Yeah, the whole, the whole off record. Yeah, right. I fuck with them for sure. Can't forget what they did. You heard? Yeah. For sure, I fuck with them. Definitely. So you've been you've been going crazy with the samples, and your comments, your fans are saying like you stamping the samples with the drill right now. That's what they saying. I ain't yeah. even see that. Yeah, we yeah. That's what they yeah. saying. So what you think? Say if they saying that, that's what's going on. <laughs> Shout out to them. Do you read your fans. comments a lot or not? Sometimes I read them. Yeah. So when I'm bored. When you're bored. Mm -hmm. Is that a good or bad thing? You think? What? Cause some people, some artists get bad comments, some artists get good comments. Like, what you think? Do your comments? As long as they commenting, you don't care. They there, you heard? They there for a reason. You comment bad every time, you still there though. You heard? <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, okay, okay. So, you hit the Made in America. Mm -hmm. You was on. Um, I want to say I don't know what that's called. The title thing with Jay. The title stage. Yeah. Yeah. So like, what do you? F you did a lot of stuff this year. Uh -huh. What do you feel like is the highlight of your career so far? The highlight. Yeah. Shit, I don't even. I ain't even think about it. The and highlight. Twenty twenty one coming to an end. You did a lot of stuff this year. Mm hmm. The highlight probably being on Made in America. You heard about for me. One of my idols got me in there. Jay Z yeah. Ho. Yeah. Jay Z pulled you in there. Cause Say I really see no New York artists in there. Right? Yeah. Who else is gonna put me there? I don't. Whoever put me there, shout out to them, bro. Is Jay Z like on your bucket list to like do a song with? Yeah, hell yeah, that's the goat. Who won want to do a song with him? So like right now, Jay Z had went on um I think the title thing again, and he was like how nobody can match him in the verses. Yeah. What you think? Nobody. <laughs> they can't sell that man. I mean, they did too much, bro. They ain't doing enough. So, you said you got locked up for a drill and this and that. So, do you feel like the beef is stopping the money in the long run when it comes to music? The beef? Yeah. 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 Right. That's a fact. It is stopping the money. 
Because if it was less beef, it would be probably more shows, stuff like that. Yeah. So you think that hip-hop police is real? Hip hop police is definitely real. When I got locked up, they came to me. They knew I was locked up. I don't know how they knew. They just came here like we hip hop police. I'm like, what? <laughs> so it's definitely real. You a yeah. witness? You can confirm that. Yeah, for sure. A lot of a lot of fans think it's fake. Nah, they real. They they real. They know when you locked up. They know everything. They know from the People that don't even got no clout like that, that's yeah. dropping music, and they know to the, the high. Who up yeah. next? They watching all that. Who up next and who already up? Who already there? Yeah. They know everything. Yeah. yeah. So um, so that's definitely real. So do you think you ever chill like with the? I don't. You don't diss nobody too too much now, mm -hmm. but you was who I smoke went crazy. Yeah. I mean? So yeah. You think you ever slow up with the? This yeah, I ain't even, right now. yeah, I'm trying. I ain't even really into that. I'm trying to focus more on the money, though. Feel on me? The money? Yeah, this and people ain't getting me nowhere. Do you feel like you're gonna ever switch genres? Being that you know, you kind of did your thing. I in already right switched now. genres. I'm really, I'm into R&B. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Don't do that. Why <laughs> you said I'm serious? I'm into R and B. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I'm working on the dance moves and all that. Working on dance moves. Yeah. I can find the Bronx went crazy with the dance moves. Yeah. You a Brooklyn nigga, bro. You don't have yeah. to dance. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. But. But. I gotta me? switch it up though. Gotta do a little something. I feel like your fans don't really see you being goofy and fun. You nah. always on gangster time. Yeah, that's a fact. So busting the dance moves might work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got the Woozy Walk. It's definitely going crazy. We about to go crazy on TikTok. Woozy Walk, that's what it's called. I don't care what they say it's called. It's called the Woozy Walk, you heard? So you stamp for this? Yeah, that's stamp. Free Woozy, that's my dog, you heard? So you going to um show us what that look like one day? The Tutorial Woozy Walk, they see through. it. It's in the videos. What video? Every video I drop from now on, you're going to see the Woozy, gonna walk. The woozy walk. First, you spin a block. Oh, you boy. Ride the top. <laughs> you up it. Then you just geek with it. That's how you do the woozy walk. Okay. All ages can do that. The girls can do that. All ages. Everybody the girls, that. the boys, unisex. It's unisex. Right. <laughs> right. What you call that? All right. So, have you ever gotten a cosign that surprised you? Co-sign that surprised me. Yeah, cause I see a lot of people fucking with you. A lot of artists follow you. Yeah. I be seeing people in your comments. So, anything ever like, oh shit, he fuck with my music? I'm saying no. I probably did, but I don't really remember. You remember? Yeah, I don't remember because like a couple NFL players be fucking with me, mm -hmm. like NBA players. I say even UK, you got a song with Russ. Yeah, a couple UK. Is that people. out? Nah, it's not out yet. What y'all waiting for? We, we we waiting for the right moment. You heard? Patience is a virtue. If you don't know, patience is definitely a virtue. Not that you don't know, I'm just saying the fans. <laughs> patience is a virtue, so we just waiting on the right time. So waiting on the right time? Yeah, for so you sure. So really, you feel like you're really good with timing when it comes to music and branding and stuff like that? Um, yeah, I would say I'm good at timing. Or you feel like you're impatient. You feel like when you got a, a hot record, you want to drop it now. Cause you drop every I week. go off, I go off what the fans say. If they feel like, I be trying to get the fans what they want. Okay. Yeah, I I say that you heard. For okay. sure. Okay, so yes, but who I smoke got taken down off YouTube. Mm -hmm. How you feeling about that? I ain't gonna lie, that's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate that it got taken down because it was definitely a banger. It was at a million plus views. Yeah. So I'm saying it was one of those, one of those it ones. On its way to being like right under maneuver. Mm hmm. You think it was too hot? That's why they had to take it down. At this point, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to like, tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell you. I ain't gonna lie. At this point, shit, I don't know. So as being an artist, everything happened for a reason. Everything happened for a reason. Mm hmm. So I would you I, would you like re-release that or like it did what it did and you cooled it? 
Nah, we moving on. We always moving on. We never okay. dwelling on the past. Okay. You done on the past, you can't move forward, right or right. Right. Slum. So, um, so what's your favorite part about being an artist? In the studio or shooting music videos? Hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Both of them. I really like both. I really like doing both of them. I like working, period, you heard. Elevate and see myself elevate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. That's what motivates me. Yeah, I see you do different stuff. I seen you was in a magazine. Mm hmm Slam magazine. I was born, I used to bore hard, like AR. <laughs> so you can give up your hoop dreams? You will play for I'm some saying. money right now? You know, artists be yeah. playing and shit. Yeah, I will always play ball. I like playing ball. You feel like you're still good? Yeah, I'm great, for okay. sure. Scale of 1 to 10, how good are you in ball? Right now? Yeah. Right now, you didn't hit the court in a little minute. Right Have now, you? I would say, um, nah, I ain't hit the couple weeks, probably. Okay. I'm but probably, you be working out, though. Still. Probably out of eight, hey, yeah. Yeah, I got to stay fit. You got to be ready for whatever come, for sure. That's it. You know okay. that? So how you go about picking your beats? Oh, I'm very picky with beats. <laughs> yeah. I don't just try to rap on anything. Do you look for like a certain thing? Like as far as nah, like nah, I don't look for a certain thing. It just gotta sound good. I might ask the people in the room if they like it. If they don't like it. I ain't jagging it. Mm -hmm. For sure. And um, for this year on Tokyo Town, we was nominated for best male artist. I was. Yeah. I appreciate I that. He didn't know this. See, come I on, bro. Nah, I ain't know. <laughs> for best artist. Best male artist. Best yes. male artist. I I appreciate that for sure. There was only sure. five contenders this year. What? Well, yeah, yeah, I've been there from the start. I appreciate y'all for sure. Slum. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. So, mm -hmm. how do you feel like you improved this year overall as an artist? This year? Mm-hmm. Shit, I be working so much that I don't even pay attention to that. I just keep going. As so long you, as you keep going, you know people problem is they stop. They can't okay. stop, they gotta keep going. Okay. Whatever you doing, just keep going. You're gonna get better gradually, you heard naturally. Slum. The big slum said it. So definitely just keep on working. That's mm -hmm. how you feel like you get better. Mm -hmm. Do you have like artists that's like you wanna collab with, like wanna feature with? Any mainstream like, artists? Mainstream? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I fuck with a lot of mainstream artists like no cat, uh, dirt, uh, baby, that was my, baby. Yeah. yeah, little baby, yeah, for sure. Like, who's some artist that would you say motivates you? The same niggas, little yeah. baby, uh, dirt, any artist that's like that drive heat, like continually, like continuously. consistent, consistently. Yeah, little baby had a good year. Dirk had a good year this year. Yeah, Vaughn used to motivate me too, for sure. So you feel like you're transitioning transitioning into R and B? You feel like you're going somewhere else? Yeah, I'm trying to switch it up. More some R and B shit, pop shit. Might start break dancing. So lying, He's so lying. He's so lying. <laughs> I got a lot about that. It's <laughs> not about to break dance. but I'm like, okay, so if you say R and B, who's some R and B artists you fuck with? R and B, Chris Brown, he the go. Ain't no, ain't nobody That's bigger than that. All right, under that, it's more R and B. Under that, it's I don't more R and B. Pay attention to that. Ooh. You got Summer Walker. You got Summer Walker. Um, is, Brent Fires. Who? Brent Fires. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. I'm being so honest. So who you listen to? You only listen to yourself. R and B. In general, who who on your playlist right now? Me, Rocco, <laughs> Tazo, Jigo. Hold on. Uh, Chris Brown, Dirk, Lil Baby. What Chris Brown song on your playlist? Better not be no old shit. Chris Brown? Yeah. It, it be old shit, though. <laughs> the old shit to heat. What you mean? Okay, okay. Ain't no way. He got, he got classics. He got classics. Yeah, okay, yeah, he got timeless music. That's what I like. Timeless music. Yeah. Man. Which one of your songs do you feel like is timeless? Timeless? Because I got some, but let me see. Three timeless tracks that you feel like to it's me, timeless. To me, personally, yeah, how to I you. feel, my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Right. Aaron Rodgers, my first song. I feel like that's timeless I to miss? me. To me. Okay, two more. I, it would be timeless to me. Like, I always, feel me? Remember that. Yeah. For me? Okay, two more. Uh, Blacken. Okay. 
black and um one more come on something new or something this year at least black and was last year heavenly huh heavenly heavenly yeah i fuck with heavenly heavy why you fuck with that song so much because like i like kisha cole too that's on b right yeah yeah i like kisha cole (laughs) i fuck with her shit so i did her sample i fuck with like yeah yeah that's like that's a classic except from heaven classics for you i feel like it's maneuver maneuver i feel like fly Uda. Mm-hmm. um i want to say who i smoke but i don't want to say who i smoke <laughs> 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 but um i got 21 like i listen 21, to 21 yeah 21 yeah Rocker. 21 go crazy that's a fact yeah those are my three timeless tracks for you why you feel like you and Rocco work so well together Cause we from the same struggle, you heard. It's my brother, my I little see. brother. Y'all been doing music for years now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's definitely a long time. That's All right, fact. so 2021, I mean 2022, my bad. What should your fans look forward to? 2022, what can we see from 26 this year? The same thing, we, we work anywhere, we never gonna stop. Can we get like one secret, like a little exclusive? Are you with a major? Are you still independent? Like, what's going on with you? Like, what's going on? Shit. I don't know. See these VVs. <laughs> That's all <laughs> independent money? What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What all right, it but is. 2022, like, a big collab. Maybe you and Rush this Of year. course. There's a lot of big collabs, but. I, I want to see you work with a girl. I keep saying this. Got it's probably there everybody. Okay. I'm this is like some R and B shit. We gotta wait and see. Some R and B shit. We break dancing. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. But tell the people where to find you. Appreciate you, two six. Two six A R for a little minute. G O J R on the gram. Uh, two six A R go J R. Yeah. Two six A R on everything. Slime. Big slime. Yeah. They call me King Drench, though. Okay. What what Drench mean? Drench is just Drench is no explanation. No, we If you know, then you know. Can you think about that top of the year? Drench? Explanation for Drench? Explanation for Drench? Yeah. Drench can mean drip. It can mean you got that shit on drip. Yeah. It can mean a lot of things. It can mean it's raining outside. <laughs> <laughs> it can mean a lot of things, man. Okay, okay, okay. It's and then, drip. um... I seen fans in comments like Mike and Mary need to sponsor you. T- how you feel about that? That's how I feel. They really <laughs> do. I I would ask Shay Day. Somebody tell him, him my line. You gotta set that up. I'm saying no. The fans gotta hit him up. All the fans gotta DM him. Tell him nah, this nigga wear your shit too much. You gotta sponsor him. Yeah. For real. If you had to put a number on it, how much you think you spent in a Mary store? Shit. <laughs> a lot of money, I ain't gonna lie. Thousands is a thousand over fifty for sure. Yeah. Big facts. Awesome job over fifty in America. That's a fact. You see it. You know I've been having that. <laughs> sh- no, yeah. I'm I just asking how much you think you spent there. You Mary, playing? And Mary. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know I, I keep it. that shit on. <laughs> for sure. But yeah, appreciate you two six for pulling up. Slime, appreciate y'all. Y'all been rocking me from the jump. You know how to fuck. You know, I'm big on loyalty, but. Slime. Alright, we good, y'all.